Hey guys, <laughs> it's Dimmy here, and welcome to another video. Today we are in Dirt Rally with more awesome webcam action going on. Um, I've had so many requests over the years to sort of um, have some sort of pedal cam slash steering setup webcam happening. I explained really poorly. I sort of did half of that in the video a couple of days ago with uh, Race Room. But now I'm giving you the full bore, I'm giving you the shifter, I'm giving you the uh, the wheel here and the pedals and my bare feet. If you have a foot fetish then this video is for you. Um, but today we're at Thin Dirt Rally and we're going to be driving uh, the Alpine. Because I really like the Alpine and um, I was driving it a bit earlier. I think it's actually my new favourite car in this game. I haven't actually decided where I'm going to drive it yet. So we're going to we're gonna do this and we're driving it at Finland. No we're not, we're driving it at Finland again. No we're not, we're driving it at Greece. Fuck it, let's just drive it to Wales. Okay, right. <laughs> that didn't work. We'll do four stages, I think, because I want to give this like a little bit of a feel out. Uh, I'm not sure how good I'm going to be in this at, uh, at Wales, because I haven't actually done much uh, driving here. So we've got a night stage there, morning overcast, morning overcast, and morning rain. A nice selection of stages there, and a nice selection of weather conditions. So we'll start. Here is the Sexy Alpine, part of the 1.1 update. Uh, basically the console stuff. Now the PC and console stuff is all aligned. Uh, there was another car that came out as well, there's loads of Rallycross stuff that I'll probably cover in a different video, and a Renault 5, which I'll, again, probably do in a different video. But for now, we're going to be driving the Alpine, and I love this thing, I really do, I think it's a great car. It really uh, makes me, actually I need it still, it makes me a happy bunny driving it, it's just uh, a low powered rear wheel drive car, which is what this game was screaming for, because all the 80s cars and 70s cars are just super quick, they're all super fast, so it's quite hard to... Um, Again. So yeah, we're in A110. Um, I'm going to do my very quick setup stuff that I always do in these cars. I lengthen the first two gears and bring the top down a little bit because I don't plan against top speed that quickly. Everything else I'm not really that sure about, so I'm going to leave. And here we go then. So here we are then, at night, in the Renault Alpine, the A110. About to do our first stage. Handbrake on. Five, there you go. Into four, gear. Giving three, it some revs to the fans. Two, and one, away we go on our first stage. Now the brakes in this thing aren't great. That's the um, thing. It accelerates pretty quickly. But you've got to be careful of uh, where you're braking here. So this is the hairpin right. So we go down to first gear. Just tapping the clutch to make sure I keep some revs up. Okay, using that longer first gear to drift out the corner up into third. Being a bit careful through here because it is an old car and it does handle like an old car. It's not quite as sprightly as the uh, other rear wheel drive cars in the game. It's a little bit lethargic almost. It's still got plenty of grunt though and it's still got plenty of passion behind it and plenty of soul as we just drift it through that right hander there. Very nice. Up into fourth, getting up into some high speeds here as I just shut up for a second to concentrate. You can see I'm just left foot braking a little bit through here. Go down to third through here. Maybe you shouldn't have done that just yet. Yeah, right a little bit too. Five. And right five over crest continues 100 through death. Quick on doing that downshift into further, but it doesn't matter, we're still going. Now this part of the stage is always hell in any car, it's so bumpy down here. Especially when you have a stiff setup, we seem to be okay at the moment on this setup. It's just the baseline with different gears, I don't really know much about rally setups, even with my dirt rally experience. Gonna break a little bit for this jump. Yeah, there you go, I was right to do that. No four times, the two, so down to third, down to second gear, gonna try and get some some drift going there, we just did it a little bit wrong. I'm actually quite rusty at Dirt Rally, so you aren't seeing my best driving for sure, but you're seeing what I think is a good representation anyway. There you go, nice through there. Into fourth gear, just trying to ooh, get through there, very tasty. Just throwing the car through the corners. Just using the brake to turn the car there. You can probably see the pedals, I'm not sure how much you can actually see. I know it's going to be a bit of a wheel in the way as well. Uh, okay, where are we now? Okay, so hairpin down here, I think. Just keeping the brake sort of in check. I don't want to let the car run away down here because like I said, we are in an old car. It doesn't handle the best in the world. But if you're kind to it, it's kind to you. Just using first gear there to turn the car on oversteer. Try not to clip anything though, because this car does oversteer a lot. You end up having like a, a sort of a weird pendulum effect, which can end up Putting you in trees, keeping it in third, they should be in second really. And six, Still and determined to keep it in third though. So I run 450 degrees of rotation, if anyone's wondering. Um, I'm using the stock rim and TH8 uh, shifter, THHRS I think, I'm not sure what it's called. And just the stock pedals as well with a brake bashing mod and my patented stressful 
uh, under the throttle mod for a little bit more resistance. Definitely try it. Cheapest mod you can do. Definitely worth it if you've got two hundred pedals and it's a little bit more play in the uh, a little bit more bite. Sorry, I should say in the throttle. You know, too much of a high gear here, but I'm trying to get through this just so I can actually showcase uh, the car and uh, and the webcam sort of going on. I'm not going going about 90, 85 percent at the moment. Just trying to stay on the road. I recommend you if you want to see 100% runs, go and watch some world record runs of this stage, it's ridiculous. I don't think, uh, I can do that sort of shit, but it's, uh, it's just stage knowledge at the end of the day though. Up into fifth gear and over the finish line, not too bad a stage really for our first time out in the air. I've been crossing the line in the air, as is tradition in this car. But yeah, so that's our master stage, we actually won that stage by 22 seconds, wow we smashed that. This is on master difficulty may I remind you, so I guess you have a guy's not quite ready for the, uh, the Jimmy Broadbent Renault Alpine train. Poor fuckers. Um, next stage. Punt more reverse. Um, yeah, it's nice coming back to Dirt Rally. I sort of picked up the other day. It's one of the games that I took ages to download because my internet is shit at the moment, which is why I haven't been streaming. I'm doing, focusing on videos so I can just go and sort of do that, let it upload for the day and then forget about it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's nice to be back in the game. I'm, I'm liking all the differences now, especially like the sort of menus here. It feels more gamey. Which is nice, you know, a little bit more of a feel for it. It was just sort of, it was very, uh, very bare bones before we got the console releases, but it, it feels a bit better now. Anyway, next stage, keyboard down, handbrake Five, in, put it in first, four, get those three, revs up, two, one, and go. go. There you go. You see, I just out of habit always give a little bit of a, a little bit of a touch there to the clutch every time I pull away, just to make sure I get a, a good, a good run. I wish I had fucking screen washing this. Windscreen's dirty as fuck. There you go. Okay, I'm good. I think, and by swearing, I've lost my opportunity of this being any sort of dirt, <laughs> dirt related website or anything, but oh well, that's my work, that's my channel for you. Oh yeah, God, oh, that corner always caught me out before I knew it, and like, because I haven't played for a while, I just forget it's there. Okay, time to first gear, got the pendulum going. Bit too much, a little bit too much pendulum there, a little bit too slow, we shouldn't have been so severe of our movements. Same there again, a little bit too severe of the movements, I'm just getting used to how the car handles. It's very slow to slide, but once it starts going, it really wants to continue. Oh Jesus, just getting up on that uh, bank there. No damage, I don't, I don't think anyway. One of the most challenging parts of Wales right here, you want to throw it down to the inside, try not to touch the uh, stuff on the outside, you have to just go blind. Again, that's a corner that requires some knowledge to go very fast through. Going down a fourth there, oh, just giving it everything I can give it at the moment without crashing it. And because we have low power, when you get up to speed you're very keen to keep it, so you end up doing these ridiculous corners that you wouldn't usually do. But uh, just to, in order to keep the speed and keep sort of going quickly, you can tell it's been a while since I've commentated and driven this because I'm as much to commentate on that much compared to my usual very chatty self. Real good. So I'm being so slow through here now. I'm just God, my windscreen's so difficult to see out of. No, it's not obscuring me, it's just distracting me at this point. Do the wipers do anything? No? Okay. <laughs> just thought I'd give it a go, see if I could up at all. Probably made it worse if anything. A lot of the time in this sort of car, I don't really realise it now until I'm actually sort of semi-watching myself on the second monitor, is that you you drive a lot with one hand, especially in these um, sort of the slower sections where you're hitting the handbrake and Going for the um, going for the gear stick to the left of me, obviously here because I'm British, so it's on the left. You notice how much my hands move around the wheel as well. It's just an effort to sort of keep good grip on it, so I can throw it either way at wheel. There you go. Not too bad through that. Ah, oh, I'm missing the second gear. Flipping the board. Screw you, board. Over the line, another stage completed. Now, Pine looking nice and muddy. 
do like to see a blue alpine, don't you? I, I'm, it's a shame you can't get the normal livery in this. And again, they're absolutely smashing the competition. The Fulvia and Mini Cooper have no chance against the might of Jimmy B's Renault. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a car that I never actually uh, knew much, much about until video games sort of came along, to be honest. Um, with, with Rally in general, outside of watching WRC broadcasts, watching other things, I really didn't know much about the old Rally. And this is where games like Dirt, I think, have a really nice place uh, in the market. They, they act as sort of teachers as well as uh, uh, as well as just fun games, you know. So, uh, now what was it? Watch free, that is. And then you do that, there you go. No, uh, car's feeling good, I'm not going to change the setup at all. Let's jump straight back in. Oh, I hate this stage. <laughs> okay, Five, here we go. Four, three, two, two one, go. I oh, was like trying as better start as possible. I never get a good one though, I always mess it up. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mind the stage too much, I thought it was a different one. Oh, jeez, I wish to get those logs on the outside there, so panic steering. Four times three eighty. Okay, there you go, nice through there. Just sort of the car was pending a bit there. I was trying, trying to control it with the throttle and with the steering. That's the fun with these real drive riding cars. A lot of the steering comes from your right foot. And uh, it, you know, it just brings some interest to the to driving, definitely. In the four-wheel drive cars, you can sort of get away with a lot. In these cars, you have to be a lot more careful. After, do things a lot further in advance, if that makes sense. I have to go, right, okay, you know, I've got a left three coming up, so I'm going to try and go over to the right a little bit, and then turn it in a bit early, let the car swing out, and then go from there. I'm all for this part of the track, always have been. You think you can go faster than you can through here. You can't, because the banks are actually quite hard at the other side. There, I just clipped one there, I think that's going to slow me up, up the hill. All momentum's completely gone. Got a hard right coming up. It's giving all the lock there to the left. Thought I was in second gear there. As you can tell, my hand hovered in the wrong spot. Usually I don't use a gear indicator, I just want to know what gear I'm in because I'm using the manual. But um, having it there is still useful. There's only a split second for me to move my hand back, but it's still a split second that I've lost not getting the gear in. Difficult bit for here again. You want to go super fast, but you can't really let, allow yourself to do that because that happens. Having to really fight the car through there. And there's this, this bastard turn. I actually love this turn when you get it right, but I very rarely get it right. That was all right. It wasn't bad. Maybe could have had a bit of a shorter third gear there to get us out, but we're okay. Again, down the third, trying to clip that inside too much because you just throw the car. I'm loving this very, this sort of slower, more calculated rear-wheel drive car. And more rewarding to get right. Am I going to clip the bank? Yes, I do, but we're okay. And now we smash it down the hill. One of the most difficult parts of this game, I think, is all the bumps. Some people go through here flat without blink of an eye. I never can. I have to be so careful through here because stuff like that happens. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, the lay-by saved my life there. I'm going to keep it in fourth. Wipers on. Oh Jesus. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. Just got that clutch in there. Managed to avoid the stall. This part's great. Absolutely no brake needed. Just use the throttle to turn you around. Another water splash coming up. I think I put my wipers on. Oh shit. Oh, well, we're okay. We're still good. Every time I hit the wipers, bad things happen. Just holding them on so I can go through easy. Now off again. There you go. A couple of little instances there, but we got through all right. Pretty lucky, actually, I think. Up into fourth again to pass that start-finish line. Well, just the finish line, I should say. Oh, the front of the car's broken. I feel so bad breaking this car. It's so pretty. Why do I want to do that? Still 24 seconds on the nearest guy, though, so screw that. We have like a minute in hand going into the final stage, which is a long one. So we still we, we can still retire. You know how it is with our, with me and my videos. We can still have a massive crash, <laughs> right? Dear, just took that bet. I'm going to Codemasters. I'm going to look at that. I reckon you should tweet my video, Codemasters, please. <laughs> what do you mean, blatant fan? Oh, it's raining. Cody's why? Actually, no, I knew it was raining. Anyway, so raining, long stage. Five, 
Let's have it, boys. Four, three, two, one, the adoring world fans go. to the right coming out to see the sexy 60s Alpine, or Alpine, I call it an Alpine local and British. Come out to ride again, and I've still got that annoying sort of haze in the windscreen. I would have thought it would be cleared by the rain, but apparently not. Visibility is, in the words of Southpaw Racer, at a premium around here. You should check out his channel, by the way. Southport Racer. He recently hit 500 subscribers, and that is a crime because he should be on at least 10 times that, frankly. So go and give him some love. As I shout out his YouTube channel, I am going to try not to crash through here. Now, this is always a bit of a bitch through here. I always try and take this as fast as I can in the front wheel drive car, but you end up having such issues going down here because of the bumps. So you end up slowing down a lot for the first, and you have to sort of keep slowing down as you go down the hill because of all the bumps. I can't really see much right now, I'm just sort of hoping the car sticks to the road, which it is so far. There you go, and over. I'm pretty sure there was a time where um, Mr. Orr used to drive this sort of shit with a, um, a formula rim. I have no idea how he did that. I'm going to assume he was drunk. Okay, I've tried driving stuff like this with formula rims and it just breaks you, because I have to move my hand so much around the wheel so much. If I did that with formula rim, I'd just end up breaking my fingers. The room is basically a, this big rectangular thing, for those who don't know what it is, I'll, I might show it at some point, I don't know, it's up on my shelf somewhere. So up into third gear, and fourth, going uphill this time, a bit more difficult for the old Alpine, doesn't have a lot of grunt, about 130, 140 horsepower, which isn't, you know, this car's very light, so it is quite a bit for this car, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, it isn't a powerhouse, that isn't what this car's about! Oh, come on, run it through, run it through, run it through, nice! Ran it through like a champion. Don't die, don't die! There you go. It definitely not happen. Rain does make the stage a bit slipperier. Not infinitely slipperier though. But uh, you, you, you feel a lot more in tarmac, I think, especially when you're used to some dry stages in tarmac, because you're still going through mud anyway in these stages, so the mud is a little bit wetter than it would usually be. And now this, this bit. Oh, I hate going this way. Because of that! Don't hit, don't hit the fence, don't hit the fence. Oh, I'm, I'm being so lucky in this run so far. Dirt is renowned for its uh, killing of mortals, and this is definitely an example of it. Second gear again, it's letting the uh, the minimal torque of this car carry us out the corner. Now using the power. Foot flat to the floor, foot hovering over the brake pedal. Just in case I chicken out like here. Onto fifth, carrying the speed down there. Left free long coming up, so we'll break here. Down to third. Oh, we just touched the bank on the outside. Not, uh, not really ideal, but we somehow come away with it. Again, another free left coming up, so we're just wanging in there. And let the car run away again. Such a satisfying corner to get right this one. I got it wrong, you just get it in the dip on the inside. Just feathering on the way out there, not smacking the throttle. This is where the stage would end if it were a short stage, but it's not, so we're going to keep going. In the second half now of the stage, which I never have ever gone on with, with any capacity or any car, so it should be interesting to see how we do in the old Alpine. Hairpin coming up. No handbrake used there at all, just using momentum of the car, got us around. Scandinavian flicks are, in these sort of cars, quite useful. In modern cars, not so much, because you have so much grip. Um, so that's why you see people using it a lot more in the older cars than you do in the newer cars. It's just a bit of an outdated technique now. Um, you know, it's designed to sort of shift the weight of the car so you can get some nice uh, input and steering, etc. And, uh, and a nice uh, corner exit or e entry, whatever. Anyway, um, but um, yeah, in the modern cars, there's not too much of an advantage because of the ridiculous four-wheel drive and whatnot they have now. There you go, just... Uh, no, this this corner, this deceptive one, always gets me every time. Not this time though. I'm going to go really slow for it. There you go. <laughs> I win. I win corner that has no personality or life connected to it at all. I beat you. Oh god, but I didn't beat that one. It's that big old rock on the inside there, randomly generated rock there. They appear on stages every now and then, sometimes in the middle of the road, and they will ruin your day. 
But uh, I don't think you see them enough because I've, I've never hit one before. I would like to see them sort of brought in more, especially in places like Greece, where like that's renowned for being a car killer. And this this hairpin right always gets me as well because carrying the speed down the hill, like, just barreling through the uh, the gate post there. Someone's got to put that back up again. Sorry, Marshals, wasn't me. Well, actually, it was me, but I'm just going to pretend it wasn't. Again, just sort of hovering over the brake again. More for a confidence thing. Now, up here can be super fast if you are super fast. Uh, I am not. So I'm just going to, again, just hold on and pray. Up into fifth gear. So many little blind bumps and uh, yumps up here that really ruin your day. So I'm going to just slow down a bit just for the sake of getting through here for the for the video. Do it for the YouTubes. Don't go off the edge, Jimmy. That's a bad place to go. There you go. Oh, you see me having to correct myself like four or five times there just to keep the slide going. I have no idea how we came with that one alive. Very luckily, though, I can say that much. You learn to just react before things happen after a while in this game. It's quite interesting. I'm not going to show you my face off just because I'm sweaty right now. It's definitely time for a bath after this, but I hope you are enjoying this uh, interesting insight into sim racing. Hopefully the camera is still focused on me. It looks like it is. Come on. There you go. Keep it floored. Just touching the handbrake there because I got my turning point a little bit wrong. Coming up to the end of the stage now, thankfully. And there it is, end of our little rally we've set up here. Four stages in the Alpine, I think. Maybe it's five, I don't remember. Oh! And I'm sweating like a pig. But, as you can see, on master difficulty, maybe I need a tweak, we have smashed the AI by nearly two minutes. And that is the end of that, uh, that video. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was very fun to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, this sort of camera setup thing. Give you a bit of an insight into how I drive and maybe an insight into my quote-unquote rig, which is just a TV and a wheel. But if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, let them know what we're doing over here on this channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time for more awesome content. Take care and have an awesome day.